Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are in Casablanca, not in Morocco, but in Marbella on the Golden Mile, which is a residential beachside urbanization area with some of the coolest homes walking distance. And today we're gonna to be showing you a super cute home right here. Let's go. Alrighty-o, smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro and support the Mara Gang, very important guys. Now, you know you are at a beach house if you have a tab just to wash your feet from the sand, specifically made for that purpose. Pedal stones and this elegant passageway that leads to the main door, let's go. Tropical, you've got your palm trees, the vase, the lime mortar on the walling, no sharp edges in the house, making it all super smooth. We have the beige marble and a fishbone pattern tile laid out on the floor as well and a little fountain area we switched the fountain off because of the mic but we also have pedals here welcome you into the house which is right here so ladies and gentlemen with no further ado let's have a look inside come on let's explore the inside of this beautiful home that i personally really like we have 333 square meters 333 of interior built that we have to show you guys Little console to store your shoes in, right in the foyer, the entry of the house. Three bedrooms are to be found alongside this corridor. Let's have a look at them together, come on. The design is so uniform, it's so throughout, I'm loving it. It's warm due to all the natural elements, like the rustic looking carpentry throughout the entire house. Let's open this one and show you that we have a washer and a dryer right underneath and bedroom number two. Let's look. Now bedroom number two also shows how neat and clean and designed this entire house is. All the bedrooms, as you have seen, have a ensuite bathroom. This is just for the guests and it's a guest toilet. Fantastic. We love guest toilets, as you might or might not know. More cupboard spaces just to give your perspective a lot of storage spaces for your winter jackets because it gets so cold here in winter and another room here which is well let me explain inside come on a combination of everything it could be your office it could be a bedroom it could just be a tv room it has also an ensuite bathroom right here so obviously this could be a bedroom which it probably is right now with a sofa bed and it also has this really cool cupboard that you just kind of slide out wait let me move this this shouldn't be here because it pulls out quite a lot and you have a lot of space to hide your stuff and it's actually really cool because no dust and dirt will come inside and you can also hide your goodies in here if you were theoretically to take the handle away you wouldn't even know that there's a cupboard awesome there's also an access point outwards all the bedrooms that we have shown in the detail shot, by the way, have an access point outwards. This one we're gonna discover together, so let's go. All right, perfect, love how all three bedrooms are super independent because they have access points out, right? Bedroom number one comes from here, bedroom number two, and then obviously the third bedroom that we have just shown you would have an access point out to this greenery here. We have a nice landscape section here, carport for at least two cars, and also, the sound of the ocean, which is coming closer and closer. Now, that's really cool. Let me show you this here, because the motor, the line motor put on the walling here with no real sharp edges is really nice, making this home 
very smooth, yeah, but in a nice way. I like it. And the touch of it as well is super cool. We have a passageway here to the swimming pool as well. Great. And a fly which is attacking me. Jesus. All right, let's go inside. Super. And now, guys, to the heart of the house, which is the kitchen. All right, kitchen. By the way, no curves in the edges in the house, which is super cool. And voila. Given that we have 333 square meters of interior built, this kitchen is humongous. We have a really nice natural stone here, marble countertop, the Novi induction system, also with an extractor that's seamlessly built into it. Nothing is dangling above. Good luminosity coming from the recessed lighting. I think they get the picture now. <laughs> Let me put it back down. Super, we have a lot of drawers as well here. Little plug. Guni and Trentino have customly designed this kitchen and I love the soft clothes. We have a nice continuation of lacquered here, oak wood in the carpentry. Come on, go down. There you go. Fridges as well, paneled with the more rustic looking oak wood. Fridge, freezer and another fridge here. So when it comes to fridges, there's a lot of space for them. Neff appliances, more cupboard spaces. Voila. Toilet paper comes with the house, ladies and gentlemen. You're happy to know Whoa. that. That's not toilet paper, don't I? <laughs> for a giant, this is Patrick's toilet paper. For a two meter guy, this is the toilet paper. For me, I need smaller. We have two sinks. Patrick was smart enough to tell me that this one would probably be used primarily to wash fruits and vegetables, right? Yes. Or fill up because it is. Uh, Special sink. Yeah, this has special a... Special tap, I mean. This is a special tap. It gives you boiling hot water if you want, and it also has an osmosis water filtering system. Now, osmosis basically is the movement of water particles through a semi-permeable membrane, but in this case, it cleans the water for you and you've got the entire system installed here. And a normal sink right over here. From, Access point behind me as well, out to the terrace area in case you want to bring something from the kitchen right there. Patrick, you were saying? Nothing. You were saying something, come on. Ah, that the other tap is for normal people. <laughs> normal people, <laughs> voila. You can also get a good glimpse of the lacquered oak wood that we have here on the drawers. Wine cooler as well from Pando and the same natural marble continuation on this countertop working desk slash bar area because if you move out a little bit you will get to see that we have an entire bar area here and I must say why I love this home by the way is because it's cozy it's compact it's uniform the style isn't overwhelming it's welcoming it's warm and I wouldn't mind sitting here have someone cook me some nice dinner work a little bit because you also have this here, Patrick, if we just want to show it, electrical plugs. One as well on this side, exactly. So you can plug in your computer, juicer, whatever. And generally speaking, the indirect lighting and the recess lighting is also super nice, illuminating what is basically a chef's kitchen. Now, moving on from that, we have this entire liv livable, living, the livable living room. Patrick, wait. Did we show that this is a pocketing door to close? Bedroom number one, completely? That was a question, dude. Oh, sorry, yeah, um, no, <laughs> okay. you didn't. But we get this, the framing of the rustic oak wood here as well, in contrast to the chestnut wood, which is in the doors and windows facing out onto the garden. This is your living room area, ladies and gentlemen. We have open shelving. We have this nice lime mortar here onto the walls, which is super smooth to the touch. A niche for your television with wallpaper right behind. Those are the air conditioning slots, by the way. Obviously you have air con here. Generally speaking, a super nice chill out area. What I love really about it is that when you are here with family, you're always kind of together. You never feel like you're in solitude, you're always I would say you would bump into each other and can give each other hugs and kisses and not get lost in the open space. Does that make sense, Patrick? Should mm, we do that again? Depends, you know, if you work with your brother together, 
you would like some solitude after a while. <laughs> I get you, I can be quite tiresome. We have a nicely positioned dining table here for seven, eight people, eight people. By the way, from there you get a good look at the chestnut framing on the windows. It's not frameless, but I like it because it kind of helps to subdivide the spaces inside of the house. Dangling lamp chandeliers and this beautiful chill out area that we should discover now. Now I get complete Bali vibes, tropical vibes and a real urge to relax and chill when I'm here. We've got a covered terraced area here, chill out lounges, dining area, barbecue. We've got a lot of things going on here and it's just so cool and chilled and easy going. At the far end there, have a look. That is the Beef Eater barbecue setup in its own nice little kitchen stool section there. You'll see a lot of palms just giving you that sort of tropical vibe. Nice round table to come and dine outside. I mean, what more do you want? Staircase leading up to the terrace of the main bedroom we're gonna be exploring later. Just chill out bed. You can just picture me here coming and relaxing all day long. I mean, if I were to own this house, I probably wouldn't move from this place whatsoever. The swimming pool, by the way, also has a jacuzzi section, which is super cool. And surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, we have the fifth bedroom here. Well, we have seen four, three, we haven't seen the main, but this would be the fifth bedroom, completely isolated from the main house. We also have a sauna here, Maybe I just quickly open it for you guys to see in the detail shot as well. A sauna, get nice and hot, run out, jump into the pool. This is my dream situation. Let's have a look at this one together. Fantastic for guests or a teenager that wants more privacy. Turn the camera slightly around, Patrick. We have another like Polynesian inspired lounge chair, chill out section there, a little storage room. This is the jacuzzi I mentioned before. Right over here. And yes, super compartmentalized home. I'm loving it. Up there, spoiler alert, is the terrace that we're gonna be exploring in a second. So I say I'm gonna walk back inside Let's look at the main bedroom here, come on. I mean, what a fantastic space outside. If you agree, ladies and gentlemen, give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you think. And now, scooch over. We find ourselves back in the entry of the house and this is the staircase that leads onto the first floor where the entire main bedroom is found. Let's discover it, come on. We get to see the smoothness of the wall, the niches that have been carved in to expose your things into the lighting as well, nicely illuminating it. Generally speaking, a very warm wall, if I can say that. We also have a pocket door here. I'm gonna close it real quick, Patrick. A lot of pocket door usage and we walk right into the dresser. Let's have a look. Love the design of the walk-in closet, by the way. And yeah, this main bedroom's Ensuite bathroom is really big. We have the rattan wallpaper, which is super cool, brings warmth and texture into this bathroom. A little makeup section here, two sink vanity with the same stone as laid out on the floor and the same setup as we have seen in the other bedrooms. And a rain shower with a steam function as well here. Very big in space. You can even come and sit down, relax, get nicely steamed, wash yourself. Super. What do you think, Patrick, size-wise? Big. It's big, huh? Definitely big. Now we have another open plan, if I were to call it, toilet here. Yeah, that I'm not a big fan of. But this is a Japanese toilet from Ikoniko. It's Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out. It's a fancy one, it will wash you and do all these kind of crazy stuff. Spray your buttocks. Exactly, pocket door number, I don't know how much but this one is a twin one. Close the section down. The continuation of the wooden paneling is throughout. Let's have a look at the main bedroom now, come on. Nicely elevated. We have a spacious bedroom. Big fan of this entire bed framing here. 
with the rattan wallpaper continuation that's been nicely enclosed with the wooden panels and the indirect LED lighting. Maybe you're also seeing that in the night shots, super elegant, a lot of wooden elements. Patrick, you... Rattan you like? or Bratan? <laughs> Rattan. Bratan. Rattan, my dear brother. Here we also see the slots for the air conditioning nicely installed. You have this track lighting system on the ceiling as well. This entire niche is for your television setup as well with a drawer bank underneath. And yeah, this is basically what Rattan is. So it's actually nice that they brought this little chair here, which corresponds super well with the wall I just discussed. So you can sit down there and observe somebody sleeping. If you're a creep, yes. Let's look at the terrace. Oh, guys, this is awesome. This is your decked chill out lounge, massive Polynesian inspired liege chairs on this level of your terrace because you have a further one up there. You also have an outdoor shower, which is cool. It gets a bit too hot, take a shower, come back, enjoy the sun. Patrick, come a bit closer because from this angle, we also see the La Concha Mountain, which you probably saw in the drone shots at the beginning. Greenery, palm trees, and you can even hear the ocean, which is just a stone throw away walking distance. Nice, huh? Yes, indeed. We've got a bit of cloudy day going on as well, but now you get to see you are basically surrounded by palm trees and nature. Now, these stairs lead one stage higher. Let's have a look. Another super cool lounge to come and chill. You got a little Arizona kind of inspired garden area going on here and this massive circular lounge bed. And yes, I'm, I have to say, when you live in this house, you're gonna have it full of people. Relax, suntan, enjoy it. Mmm, loving it. We also have a sort of kitchen set up here with a sink. You could even make your barbecue up here and really enjoy uh, the panoramic views you have of La Concha greenery. A super cool place to come and chill. And there as well, we have a little fire pit. So you've got a lot going on in this house for the size that it is in. A lot is happening and I'm loving it. And yeah, guys, this was basically it. I'm still gonna show you, so stay till the end how close we are to the sea. Thank you for tuning in. Give us a like. All the contact details of Sovilla, the exclusive listers are in the description box. And yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Last words to Patrick. Boom. Be careful though. Yeah, I'm having a dangerous job today because I'm here right by the edge, but thank you very much, guys. And stay tuned like always. Subscribe, thumbs up. And yeah, let's hope for many more to come. Right, Dominic? Right, Patrick. Look at La Concha there. Ciao. Boom. Peace.